Japan. Japan. <laughs>Joy Louise here. We are back because you guys really, really, really continue to blow me away. I released not too long ago um, uh, episodes one and two of a reaction for season one of Jenny and Georgia and y'all have been showing your girl some love so we're gonna do the rest of the season. <laughs> um, I was hooked from episode one. I'm glad that I watched one and two um, together. I kind of learned that lesson from The Summer I Turned Pretty where I only watched episode one and it really didn't pull me in in a way that I think it would have by the time I got to episode two. So yeah, we are gonna get into episodes three and four today. But before we do, I need you to make sure, if you have not already, that you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss an episode from me. And let's get into episodes three and four of Ginny and Georgia. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Is she dreaming? What is happening? Oh. She's dreaming. <laughs> Oof. Wet dream. You're still in bed? Oof. Me as a mom. <laughs> My mom is nothing if not a realist. Mm. He's sweet. <laughs> Clear eyes, open hearts, dumb fools. Big dreams are for big idiots. Well, I don't believe in that last part. <laughs> she should have taken the comforter like downstairs. I would have. <laughs> I'm staring at a mortgage payment and utility bills. Marty, I am utterly broke. She didn't plan that well. Please get me my money. Oh. I'm gonna have to resort to methods I don't wanna have to resort to. Slutty top. Got it at that shop you stole from. Waffle toasted to myself. Mmm. What's this? Sophomore sleepover. How much is it? 100 bucks. To spend a night in a high school you already go to? That's what I'm saying. All night in the high school? Sounds like a waste of a Saturday. Mm -hmm. This Saturday night is the most important night of my entire life. I, I'm generally a pretty compassionate person. But this is just stupid. Mom, this is sophomore sleepover. This transcends grounding. Why don't you understand that? I'll die if I don't go. Oh, I'll die. <laughs> oh, Lord. Researching hot dog vendors, glow stick suppliers. If anyone gets to die, it's oh me. Gosh. None of my friends are born. You are actually- What friends do you have, Marcus? Why can't you be cool like Georgia? I am pretty cool. I uh, um, wow. We just walking in the house now? I just wish I could put you in my pocket and take you everywhere. I just- Oh, Georgia. I chaperone the sleepover with you. That way you don't have to suffer all alone. That would be amazing. I love it. Oh. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Why do you still think everyone hates you? Doesn't everyone think everyone hates them? <laughs> uh, not everyone cares. But there's a vibe at rehearsal. It's just such a fine line between thespian and lesbian. <laughs> oh boy. You want to try that gas station that you buy a 30 rack? <laughs> I don't want to do that too often in case he starts carding me. In high school, that meant that we go together. <laughs> Are you guys gonna be one of those boyfriends and girlfriends who shares everything in a really gross coin way that reminds me I'm gonna die alone? Max, you need ice cream and to relax. I like Hunter. I like him a lot. Yeah, she's definitely harsh and everyone's mellow. You'll love Austin. Yeah. He's fun, he's easy, he goes to bed early. Yeah, you know what I love most about kids? That I don't have- You don't know this man! Okay. You know, it's fun. Big Dick Saturdays at Trunks? Ooh. 
What Saturdays? Nick, I'm desperate. Oh, okay. So now you and your top mat. Oh, Nick! <laughs> wow, it is a re-Georgia day. Well, I'm free. I could watch them for you. Really? You would do that? Yeah, I mean, I am a member of the school board, so I understand how important- I hope this show doesn't go that route, but having strangers watch your children i mean i'm trying not to go there mentally but the world we live in you're a lifesaver nick you're a hater hey max uh what time's rehearsal is this riley i think three. Oh my gosh i love your ring it's my skin see totally fine i know so oh boy Come on, I need walk, walk, pas de bourree, arms to the side. <sighs> these are spirit fingers. And these are gold. Roll it to the left, pop the booty, pop the booty, face. Oh, Lord. It's not hard, okay? So. You know, it's high school, dude. Do the next one and make it sexy. I want everybody in the audience. It's high school. So, like, our parents? Inappropriate. Desire. Ooh. Unfeeling. That feel he needs to be fired. Locked in here for I guess he feels like since it's all girls, it's fine, but. Frankly, all right, leg extension. Okay. <laughs> Me completely doing a. A 180. <laughs> They're gonna sign, then you flip it back and you hit enter. Got it? Yes, sir. Good. Oh, I wouldn't mind working at the register. <sighs> Go away. <laughs> Welcome to Blue Farm Cafe. How may I help you? No, I mean, what do you want? Service with a smile. You didn't give her that. Black like your heart? Drag him, Jenny. She could have filled that up a little something, something though. Three bucks and we don't do Venmo. I, that kid's a jerk. So great job, really good. Uh, small note would be to try not to be so hostile to the paying customers. Yeah, walk away. My question is this, are we starting to like Hunter? Because I like that for her. What? Oh, not for nothing though. She probably, oh. Apparently that's something she does. Wait, who's, what is happening? Oh, explains a lot. <laughs> oh boy, not the body dysmorphia. Um, what are we doing? I'm confused. Can someone in the comments explain to me the purpose of that? You could really just get a pair of skims and call it a day. He has an Esther. I agree. Child, so does a pair of jeans from Walmart. Get off it, honestly. If you have a butt, you have a butt. Oh my goodness. This is too much. This all these like, uh, what chat do you know to respond to? Who is this? You know, so confident. Who you know come through mass sponsorships. Who you know come through. Honestly, my friends and I did this in high school. It wasn't this, but like, if we had a chance to coordinate and like stand out as a group, a hundred percent. Is you seeing what I'm saying? Get your spectacles, bitch. Cause you see me rapping hard. But why did A not wear pajamas? Confused. She don't love herself. What's Mang? Mang. Like Wang. <laughs> but I love you. And I'm like, sweet. Okay. Mang like no. mango. Mom. No, baby. Are you trying to embarrass me? You're the G in Mang and I'm embarrassing. <laughs> and don't flirt with the students or other parents. And please, don't hotbox a classroom. I only did that once. Wait, please. what? 
hot box of classroom. I bet you were the brightest in your class, weren't you? I didn't realize I was a liability. You are a major one. And don't steal the sleepover money. I can't believe that we're responsible for over 200 kids tonight. You would think that you would have to have a license or something to do that. They have 200 sophomore students? Is there anything we should be doing or checking or looking for? Absolutely not. If oh, girl. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> not worried if you're not. Oh, no, I'm very worried. This is my worst. Oh. Oh, this is like prom. Kind of cool. I'm trying to understand why this girl Avery is not wearing PJs. I understand that she like wrapped her thighs earlier, but that just makes me so sad. Because the girl is is fine. <laughs> Poor thing. I tell you what, it's it's hard being a kid, but like it's hard being a kid today for sure. Oh, they have a photo booth. I love that. Well, dang, Jenny's face wasn't even in that one. Is it just me or do you, does anyone else see it as an opportunity to really serve in a phone booth? I mean, just give face. It's always like, I'm gonna try to see if I can find the last time I was in a photo booth and I took a photo. I'm gonna see if I can find it and put it in the video. Always, I always eat in a photo booth. <laughs> What's your favorite part? Oh, Hunter. I don't know if she liked it or not. Hey! And y'all better tear it up now. Come on now. Jenny? I'm irritated. TikTok has ruined group dancing. Ruined. All right now. All right now. Now kick. And walk it by yourself now. Come on now. Walk it by yourself. Maybe I shouldn't have made him come to this. Why? It's a hard time with these things. Last year was really rough. Not a backstory. Struggle. With? Uh, your mom is a total smoke. Sir. What is she gonna do now with all of these tickets? I'm confused. I know something's brewing, but I'm just kind of concerned. There you go. I don't like it. You haven't even. Wait, what is on the mac and cheese, sir? It's my super special top secret recipe. I know you a lot. Okay, you win. You don't have to eat it. I will just find you something else. You guys, what did he put on that mac and cheese? What was that? Come on, show me a silly face. No. Austin. My mom said it would be just the three of us. Oh, he's in a mood. Austin, I'm not. Oh. I'm just here to help your mom out. That's it. Liar! Were you helping her out at lawn bowling too? Oh, that's right. He definitely picked up that vibe. Poor Austin. Please don't lose those. Oh. I thought she dropped it in the toilet. <laughs> oh my God, Samantha's like so jealous too. Careful, careful. What? No, it's your hair. What? This irritates my soul. I don't like that Avery girl. And I'm sorry, that woman knows that she shouldn't have been touching her hair. Just to take this cash box to the principal's office. Let me take that for you. Thank you. Ellen, are you that dim? You know, I went off all caffeine. Who is this? Just wet it, Jenny. You'll be okay. This is what I got. What? Pony up. What are you doing? <sighs> what is happening? DJ Stiff. Dude. How original. What's your card? The Jack of Diamonds? I can't remember. Austin. Austin's not having it. No way, that was a red car. What are you doing, you idiot? Wait, what was that? Was that a laugh? What was funny? You wigging out. You, you stupid fool. You stupid fool. Oh, Austin. Oh, he was there. It's fun. Doing the Cupid shuffle. Yes, just because you can't dance. Ooh, I'm tough and alternative and too cool for fun. Yep, lame. It's all wrong. I'm way more debonair. Oh, child. I dare you and Brody to swap full outfits. 
Okay, no, you you're not stretching out my new harbors. Well, she rolled what? today. Abby, come on, don't ruin it. No pants, no dare. I'm not taking my jeans off. Abs? You okay? Oh. I hope this goes well. I'm nervous. Hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> oh, come on, Maxine. Um, uh, um, you guys, um, are we still gonna be good at rehearsal? Yeah, definitely. Oh, so awkward. I'm gonna go back to my friends. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see you around. Ooh. Max, hi, you look amazing. Poor Max. Jenny, your friend needs you. Max? Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I didn't like it. Mm. <laughs> Always just feeling really critical of myself, even though I know no one's paying attention. Why are you talking to him? The place I've lived where it's cool to be smart and they want you to succeed. Well, they want you. Mm. If you don't take seven AP classes, they label you a problem. But you want Adderall and Clonopin until you join the ski team. You know what's interesting? If he cared so much about fitting into boxes, he would up his stroke game. You're just so tired. Keep it moving. My best friend died last year. He, uh, he got cancer. You want to talk about it? Definitely not. Maybe we just need to chill out. Little boy? Uh-uh, <laughs> Jenny? Jenny, it's not even worth it, girl. Now get out there and have fun. Ignore Riley. Indifference is the best revenge. I know that's right. Thanks. Jenny's really lucky to have you. Mm. Okay, who's in here? I was just with Em. No, I'm dealing with some fraction of Ang. Is that you? Oh boy. How many times have I told you not to let anyone touch your hair? Are you almost done? I want to get out of here. This whole thing is some next level rich people shit. <laughs> Please, you hate that I'm making friends instead of hanging in the corner with you judging everyone. You're just jealous that I get to do this and you didn't. Ooh, ooh. Watch that hostile attitude. Am I wrong? Excuse me? Whatever, mom. Jenny? Oof. You can tell she wasn't raised by a, a black mama. Now come on, you know you all were thinking it. What the hell? I am so confused. You all from there? Wellsbury, Massachusetts? Is that Joe? Yeah. Don't cry over spilled condiments. I'll cry if I damn want to. Get out of here! <laughs> I kind of knew. Because he was definitely giving Joe energy. Seriously, I like animals more than humans. That part. Do you want to go to Prague, little baby? I find that to be very interesting. Georgia. Hello, Georgia. Is she going to tell him that she remembers him? Oh, Lord. I kind of like that for Austin. He needs a good um, male figure in his life because that Azkaban thing is not going to go over well. <gasps> oh, oh, it's not good. I had a good time tonight. I think you're awesome. Mm. Me too. I mean you, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you something. You're smart. Uh-huh. Obviously beautiful. Oh. I was wondering if you want to maybe be my girlfriend. <sighs> yeah. You want to be my boyfriend? A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds cool. I love that for her. Bye, Marcus. Even though we know you'll be back, like chlamydia. He seems to be fitting in. He must be happy. Oh, yeah. I'm tickled pink. Ooh. OK, all right. Don't cry over spilled condiments. Crap, I damn want him. Please, I need that. I need Georgia and Joe to be a thing. Hella freaking Luya. Everybody survived. I'm emotionally scarred. Y'all need to check on Avery. I'm glad they had fun. Yeah. Thank you. That girl is not okay. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. I'm sorry, but. That my mom doesn't believe in having big dreams. We kind of looking at Joe. Teach high school. <laughs>
<laughs> that was the right crowd, the right classroom to draw that on. Cause that's exactly what he is. I was thinking we should start posting photos of us in character to get people excited for the play, okay? Well, at least she remained consistent. Max, right? Who is that? Sorry, I didn't think anyone would be in here. Yeah, I come here to study sometimes. It's quieter than blue. Yeah, sometimes I come here to cry. <laughs> hey, it's her loss. Mm hmm You're hot. You are. Maybe next time you just need to kiss someone that wants to kiss you back. Mm hmm Yikes. Max? Max? Oh, she looked back. Aren't we so cute? But everywhere has problems. Oh boy. What if all your dreams come true and it's still not enough? Uh, you guys, I can't. I am going to take a little bit of a break and we're going to come back and get into episode four. Marcus is not going anywhere. I mean, I think I used the wrong reference earlier when I said chlamydia. It probably is um, herpes. He's gonna keep coming back. Sorry to hear about him losing his friend to cancer, but it doesn't give you the right to be a jerk. It doesn't give you the right to be mean to people. And it doesn't give you the right to be bad in bed. It really doesn't. I can already see that Jenny's not going to really give her and Hunter a fighting chance because this guy is a distraction. He is her first. It's very difficult to move on from your first. Apparently, regardless of how horrible the interaction was, um, this episode is definitely peeling back a lot of layers, mainly obviously with Marcus, with Avery, with Austin a little bit. I think that he is so used to this little bubble that he and his mom and his sister have. But I think Georgia deserves, you know, more than just to get her back cracked. But she deserves, you know, a relationship. I love that we're seeing that she's met Joe before. I don't know that she realizes that this is the same Joe. I think he kind of is catching on a little bit. But I love that. And I hope that that turns into something really beautiful for her. Oh man, Mr. Mayor finding that credit card. Even though he shouldn't have been going through her stuff. But that's not going to be good either. But yeah, let's take a little intermission and then we will get into episode four. All of it. What the hell? All the batteries. Mom. I swear to God. <laughs> that was probably incredibly unhygienic, but okay. Okay now. Gave you an Adderall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't like that. Okay, the song, the song needs new lyrics, but it sounds good. <laughs> Podma's crazy hot. She is? Super hot. With Podma, we might actually win Battle of the Bands this year. I'm telling you, Jenny, if Jenny just start rocking a top knot. It sounds like Billie Eilish. I like Billie Eilish. Of course you do. What is his name? Harry <laughs> Hunter said he used to throw rocks at squirrels at recess. <laughs> New girl's got teeth. Watch out for them later, Hunt. <laughs> Excuse me? Why are you friends with Press? He's such a douche. Literally. Press stuck it out with me when I was on Adderall and I was like a total zombie for like three years. I know Battle of the Band is important to you. <laughs> yeah, it is, but so are you. Hmm. Are we at? Yeah. Um. I got this for you. What is it? She took a Austin course last semester at Tufts. It's all noted up and I thought you could take a look at it for inspiration. That's very nice. Yo! We got mad mini carrots and hummus, bro! Uh, I would love to know what that invitation was like when he sent that to Jenny. Let's just go and you'll hear my band and then we'll hang out with the guys? What's the whoop-do-whatever about the neighborhood club? 
Well, you know the Soho house in LA, New York, London? I want to know her plans of how she's going to use Austin's credit card. Doesn't she need an ID? I mean, her name could very well be Austin Miller, but her ID probably says Georgia Miller, right? But I'm sure knowing Georgia, she'll find a way. Oh. And I, of course, will be making my vegan cheesecake. I don't want any fighting over it this year. <laughs> <laughs> vegan cheesecake. Sounds interesting. Cakes and pies. Georgia, did you have a question? Sit down, Ellen May. <laughs> Ellen May. An interesting suggestion, but um, the bake sale really is a town favorite. Ooh. Uh, the bake sale has become a true highlight of the year for Wellsbury. And I didn't forget about your vegan cheesecake. Cynthia is a worthy adversary. Oh, hey. Don't take it personally about Casino Night. It wasn't a bad idea per se. I didn't take it personally. And not for nothing, she might want to sell this car. I'm just saying. Ooh. Georgia, a minute, please. Yeah. That didn't sound good at all. Uh-huh. I saw several credit cards. We wanted to have a conversation. Several. Austin's father, Gil, is currently in jail. I'm sorry. Sell it, girl. This is emotional for me. He embezzled from his company. He stole from his nine-year-old son. What kind of a monster does you? I'm mortified. But if you want to look at my bank statements. No. That's not necessary. Um. But this is She is crafty. <laughs> you ate that. Confidential. If you need any help, I'm here. Thank you, Erica. In my house with my kid. You should have asked me before you brought in HR. I know. And in order for that to happen, I have to get reelected. But that's an excuse. And I hate excuses. So I am so. Oh, sir. Now you're on her list. I think you're an asset. Your contributions have been invaluable. Do you mean that? Yes. You have great ideas. Great ideas like Casino Night? Oh, Georgia Miller! <laughs> <laughs> Game recognize game. I get that the bake sale is tradition, but it comes down to the money. We stand to raise much more money for the school with a big flashy event like. And not for nothing, she could pass around her little vegan cheesecake at the casino night. Massive undertaking. I just did sophomore sleepover. Uh. Sounds like a great night to me. What would the governor do? Paul, don't make me give you the lemon speech again. Mm. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I just wanted to go through the bake sale prep with you. It's not happening. This year, we will be doing casino night instead of a bake sale, though, because I know ultimately all you want is what's best for the kids. I know that's right. Checkmate. <laughs> well, who did that? The cotton tails. Oh. Then you should probably put up a fence. Hey. You're not selling your house, are you? Excuse me? I just bought it. Because there was this guy in the neighborhood the other day. Was he tall? Black, muscular? No. But who's that? <laughs> uh, is Ginny still at yours? Yeah. Max invited the girls over. Mang. Mang. Sounds like a rap vagina. Mm. It's disgusting. It's the grossest word ever. I just don't have It literally sounds like... Something you pick up at a swamp. You know how sex positive I am. <laughs> I'm positive I want to have sex. Wait, Nora, you have orgasms? Yeah, but not from penis penetration. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Wow. Avery. Thanks. Here for you. I don't know, maybe he's not attracted to me. Probably. What? I don't like her. Yeah, you need to not watch any of that because it didn't help you. See, this is the problem with porn. It gives guys a messed up view of sex and never prioritizes female pleasure. That's why guys never have any- Marcus! Marcus! Easy. Let's take it down a notch. I've definitely done this before. <laughs> you borrow my green top. Mom, hi. No, I don't have it. <laughs> Georgia! Bye! <laughs> oh my goodness. Ugh. To be a teenage girl. <gasps> what the hell? Oh my God, what is he gonna say? He doesn't seem like the guy that would enjoy something like that though.
left on red? When did you send it? Like two minutes ago. Oh, a possibility. <laughs> Girl, close your windows, please. The neighborhood stalker is around. Don't nod at me. Oh, that's probably Marcus. Yep. Maybe? Did she block him? How does he have it? Wait, oh, he probably got it from Max. Ew, no! What is all of the makeup and, and blush that was on her? <sighs> I hate this. Oh, well that's light. I just want like a... Wait, what? Young lady? Don't lie to him. You you thought she did? You barely got start. No, ma'am, it is his fault. <laughs> this conversation is wild. She'd be better off talking to Georgia about this. How is he going? The blind leading the blind. And not for nothing, instead of him trying to learn well, you could just do it yourself. You do it! You little nasty. Oh, I don't trust it! She's sending him all of these incriminating photos! What the hell? Oh, that was a toothbrush. <laughs> Girl, you didn't. Don't worry, this is just the beginning. Absolutely not. Young lady? Miss Thing! No. <laughs> Somebody call the police! You guys, she violated that toothbrush. And I'm sorry, rough, aggressive? <sighs> she can never use that toothbrush again, I hope. your famous vegan cheesecake for tonight. I've heard so much. Sure. Wonderful. Happy to. Great. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna take- There is something very charming about Joe. I need it to be a success so I can wipe that smug little smile off that human chihuahua over there. Easy there, girl. Oh. Calm down. You talking to me like I'm a horse? I like this denim shirt. You have horses? Yeah. Three at my farm. Finally got your horses, huh? Okay. Uh, Betsy, Bessie, and Milkshake. Milkshake? milkshake? Uh, it's not likely. What, why? I, just, I don't really do suits. He's very handsome. Bummer. You'd look good in a suit. Yes, he would. Okay, now. <laughs> you guys, I called this from episode one. Is it happening? She's more an agent of free will than even Elizabeth because she bucks society's rules and acts of her own agency. So why do we judge her so harshly? Because she's a slut. Smack him on the back of the head, teacher. Brian, tell us more about the views of feminism you formed while jerking off to Gal Gadot. That's our girl. Women get a million different messages on how they're supposed to be. Oof. It's confusing. Okay, Jenny, you need to calm down. You're being aggressive. Ooh. See? Prime example. Really, Mom? Taking me to the gyno? Putting me on the pill? Did you really need to do that in the middle of a school day? Sure did. You have a boyfriend you're sending help us photos to. Oh, because she walked in. In case you haven't noticed, I'm 30 and single with two kids from two different guys. Mm. Does that look like the ideal picture-perfect picket fence to you? You think I know what I'm doing? Nobody knows. Cautionary tale. You are not disgusting. You are... Everything. Beautiful. She is. And who said that? I would like to know. That's right. Everything's getting protected today. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. This is... I haven't even begun with you. Ooh! This is how you handle your freedom. When we financially support your gap here, you knock up a homeless 15-year-old. We are here for you. And for her. Oh, that was kind. 
We've been texting. She actually cares about things like the planet and other people. Like she's been teaching her little sister Sash to- This girl falls in love fast. I don't know, I don't think I'm good at this whole sexy thing. That's Georgia's area of expertise, not mine. Yeah, Georgia is insanely hot. <laughs> Could you stop hitting on, you know, my mother? Two uh, turkey burgers, one gluten-free bun. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, this is the gluten-free bun. Hair nets. Max, you realize you don't actually work here, right? Obviously, but table six needs their check and table eight wants an order of wings before happy hour's over. Hire her. <laughs> but David Bowie had his ashes spread there, so it is. You guys know David Bowie? Duh, from Shrek. From Shrek. Shit, what? Oh, is it the picture of her and that girl kissing from May 2018? Because if it is, don't worry about it, because I already looked in. Wait, what did she see? I liked it. What? It's okay. Oh. I, I don't do it. I'll undo it. No, no. Jenny. Maybe it's a good thing, right? I mean, honesty's good. Joe? <laughs> Oof, that's grand. Where's Austin? He can help too. Nick! Okay, right on one of those chalkboards over there, the Nat Signature drink is a royal blush. I'm telling you, Miss Georgia can make anything work. I just don't even understand poker, but it seems to be a pretty popular uh, game. Nick, what are you doing? Microphone's out of batteries. Hmm, got a vibrator in your purse? There's a- Jenny knows she didn't need to call her mother out publicly like that. All right now. there you go, Principal Davis. Not the principal, child. She's a horrible liar. I think he's got a thing for Miss Georgia. How we doing? We've raised uh, 3K. That's less than the bake sale. Well, we had a lot more overhead. This is true. The overhead. But also, what were the prices on the bake sale? I am now on birth control. You are no serious? Does your mom know? It was her idea. God, my crush on Georgia grows every day. Is that weird? <laughs> Very strange. Pipe down, Avery. You got duct tape on your thighs. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What? She just linked a photo from 2016. Uh, right now, Maxine. Oh, so you're actually a stalker. <laughs> yeah, but in like a cute way? Uh-huh. Yeah. In a very cute way. Love that for her. <laughs> I feel like you don't really like me. What? Are, are you kidding? Hey, Hunter, let's go. We're on that show. Yikes. This guy is just like a roach. Hey, Joe. What do you know? So this is a neighborhood club, huh? And Wellsbury parents will pay for anything. We're also gonna be doing a surprise auction. Yeah. Damn, Joe. <laughs> My Jackie's a future leader. <laughs> Two, thank you. Do I see three? I see you there, three. Do I see four? Four in the back, thank you. <laughs> Sold for $10,000. <laughs> she got gooped. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. <laughs> is that legal? Ladies and gentlemen, we still have one item left up on the docket, and that is Cynthia Fuller's famous cheesecake. I'm not leaving here without it. I bid 100 bucks. Good night, everyone, and thank you for a legendary event. A hundred dollars on that cheesecake? I'm weak. I can't even deal. That lady is coming back at her hard and fast. I just need y'all to know that. <laughs> what? What? Ah. Uh, <laughs> you think I'm good? Just he can ready to ask her out. Cause that's that's, I, I, you know, it, George is a little unorthodox. Okay. But that's the kind of woman he needs on his arm if he wants to be governor. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> Did that guy talk to you? What guy? What guy? Did in your house. He was here tonight. Where? I'm stressed out. 
Who is this guy? Jenny, something's happening. Jenny Miller, this song's for you. Are near. Don't hate Marcus. You are near. You guys. All I wanted you to know. This girl's eyebrows. Oh, I can't breathe when you are near. This is so cute. Marcus is dying in a corner. <laughs> I would need that, like, you know, on Apple Music to play every morning. You know? Your man writes you a song. I read all of Pride and Prejudice just so we could talk about it. I'm like really behind on my homework. That mixed with the song and... I feel like an idiot. Oh, is that what he was doing? I just wanted you to know that I respected you. Yes. I just want you to think that I'm hot. He does. I think you're hot. Oh my God, sir. <laughs> love that for her. What is going on? I mean, this mug is beat. The red lip, the earring, the low bun. Miss Georgia, please get in the house. <gasps> You've gotta be shitting me. I used to think my mom was an expert at men. But now, I think she might not know how. Ooh. Little boy! And that never ends well. But you can't fall in love if you always have your- Not in the middle of the cheesecake! And that was totally feminist for the time. At least we can both agree, Wickham is a dick clown. <clears throat> He's a nice boy. Hunter! I presume. <sighs> be nice, be normal. I beg you. How was Battle of the Bands? Amazing. Hunter won. Yay! How was casino night? You know, it was- It was bomb! <laughs> Your mama shut that down. Georgia Miller. Girl. She really needs a, um, what is it? A fire, uh, a fireproof envelope or safe or something because oh, this is just not gonna end well who are you smiling about do it do what ask me out there was a moment earlier uh-huh you work for me i like you uh, that doesn't happen for me a lot mm. or ever really so do it georgia miller uh-huh would you like to go to dinner with me i can i work for you erica erica <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. Okay. Great. Oh, Lord. Did you see Cynthia's face tonight when I bit on her cake? I did. Oh, it was glorious. But what about Joe? Not her fit to be in the same situation as Jenny. Don't, yeah, don't text him back. You with your man. Officially. Because if you let your guard down. Oh, that would just make me feel so safe. Marcus never did that for her. He's the worst. All right, y'all, let's talk. Well, <laughs> I am excited to see that things are going well at the moment for Jenny and Georgia in their love lives. I love that they took a little time. His name is escaping me. One second, because I don't want to call him the mayor. Paul. Paul needed to like georgia on his own and he does because georgia is she's charming she's alluring she's beautiful but also like she thinks fast she thinks on her toes and she makes things happen and i think that that is something that he hasn't seen in wellsbury but also like i could imagine for a man who's in politics and and wants to essentially climb the ladder he's found his michelle and he's really intrigued. Felt good to see Marcus, you know, kind of put in his place this episode. He got to hear Georgia talking about, you know, I'm sorry. He got to hear Jenny talking about how, you know, he really didn't do his thing. 
Like you really thought that you did? <laughs> you thought you ate that? You didn't. And you know you didn't. Anyway, loved these two episodes. Looking forward to getting into the next two. Yeah. Y'all, I loved this episode. There were so many comedic moments. Loved the poker night concept. I was a little nervous there for a moment, but immediately felt a shift in the energy when Joe walked in. I don't know why. Um, clearly I like Joe, but yeah, I feel like Joe needs to go ahead and hire Maxine because she would be a great waitress. <laughs> what else? Oh my gosh, Maxine. Love that she has a love interest. I think she deserves that. I do not like Avery. Nora, the verdict is still out. I feel like she kind of just like sways, but Avery is nasty and she's insecure and too concerned about self-image. And on top of that, she projects. Don't like her, <laughs> don't care for her, but I'm um, excited to see how things move forward. Jenny and Georgia. And I just saw when I logged on, it's nominated for an Emmy. Pretty good. <laughs> you guys, if you made it this far, you are the real MVP. Let me know what you thought about this reaction. And also, as usual, make sure that you hop down in the comments and leave any suggestions for other shows or movies that you want to see me react to. I will be putting up a poll towards the finale of season one of Jenny and Georgia just to get a gauge on where you guys want me to go next when it comes to what I react to. But also, if you have not already, make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss an episode from me. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.